Welcome back to One Hour Limit Locked, where I race to complete some of RuneScape's most iconic challenges, whilst limited to just one hour of gameplay each day. In Season 1, we got ourselves a fire cape in 46 days, and in Season 2, we achieved Barrow's Gloves in just another 38. But now, in Season 3, it's time for our toughest challenge yet. The question is, how many days will it take us to complete our first ever raid on the account? We not only have to get ourselves geared and leveled up just to step inside a raid, we then have to complete it in under one hour, as logging out in the middle will end our run. I've no idea how long this is going to take me, but I can't wait to find out, so join me for the journey here in Season 3 of One Hour Limit Locked, as we become a Tomb Raider. Hello there everyone and welcome back to another episode, day number six here of our third season. I've just realised I don't have my clock open. Holy, good job I realised that on time. Now, I had a great plan today. Unfortunately, the plan's not going to work at all and I'm going to have to rethink it all. So, I'm kind of improvising. What I mean by all that is I had two quests that I was planning to do. However, I realised that in the wiki, I had entered my wrong account name, my mains account, rather than this one. So all the little green ticks I was seeing next to the quest requirements was because I was comparing it with my main stats. So I can actually do either of the quests that I wanted to do, which is uh, fun. One of them, we well, miles away from, there's like three or four different sub quests before we could even do it and I can't be asked with that shit. The other one we're much closer to. You will never guess what we need to do it. Two wood coin levels. So it's simply not happening. <laughs> it's not worth it. I'm not spending another fucking 70k on a boost or whatever and I'm not doing wood cutting again. So no quests. I think we might be doing some slayer instead. I don't really know what else. Okay, we're going to start off at the Falador patch. Yeah, I think we're going to be getting on with some Slayer today. I got the totem and the notes with me here because I'm planning to finish at the Ardy patch because it's very close to the Legends Guild. Quick check. Which one's worth more? 7978. Yep, clean ones. You have to do that check like every day. What is my client doing? Excuse me? Excuse me? What the fuck? I don't have house teleports. I've got water runes rather than air runes. I'm a muppet sometimes. Absolute muppet. I know this isn't a muppet, but close enough. Oh, I gotta get to Cathabee either. Might just end up going to Edgeville Bank. So yeah, I keep getting distracted by random shit. Squirrel! But think I'm gonna get on with some Slayer today. The only downside is we don't have enough money yet for the two pieces of jewellery that I was hoping to get before starting my combat training. So I'm just gonna start off by seeing how much money we can get with these farm runs and also with miscellanea. I'm gonna go check up on that in fact let's just grab our axe while we're right here and our cash stack and now we can actually get to the rest of our farm run. Although we do need to top up our nar seeds so we can't spend all of whatever we end up with after visiting miscellanea and selling up for the day. If I had a good idea for making money, then I'd do that instead of Slayer, but I don't with the levels that I currently have. The the quests I wanted to do is actually throwing me off super heavy that I can't do it. So I was planning to do Defender of Varrock, which was released pretty recently, but there's way too many prereqs. The reason I was planning to do that is because it gives us a really good place for using Burst to level up both Magic and Defense on the Armored Zombies there, and... I don't know what I'm going to do in place of that now, because that was how I was planning to train both defense and magic as high as we need it. So I'm going to have to figure that out, but it's a problem for future gems. Alright, time to turn in the Legends quest. Let's go! First one went on attack, next one's going defense. Defense! I know this is painful, I'm sorry everyone. We can't go Slater, can we? Thought it was worth checking. Yep. Of one on defense, 57, that is actually very nice. Oh, beautiful. Look at us go. We can now wear the Nezi helm. We are almost enough attack levels for my weapon plan, which I will reveal when we do have the levels because 
I like being sneaky and keeping things secret as, as long as possible. Don't ask me why, no good reason. Now, when I come to do miscellaneous, I am going to do it on the maples, just in case we eventually manage to get one wood cutting level, I can go then boost the cheap way for like 1k rather than 70k to do that little quest. So whenever I do come here, I'll be doing the maples to get my uh, approval written back up. Which does take a while with how much it drains per day, so hopefully we don't have too much longer of it draining 2.5% a day. Because once we've got Royal Trouble done, which requires 40 Slayer, which I'm planning to work on today, we only drain 1% a day. And we get extra workers. Both nice benefits to have. I'm not expecting a huge cash infusion from this, but we did get 320k of Renars there. So that's probably just going to go on like three days worth of seeds, so it's not going to affect our cash stack really. No idea what nests we've got in the bank. Yeah, we don't really have any money hiding anywhere. I can actually almost wear blood bark as well now, which is what I'm planning to wear as my major armor. Unless the project rebalance changes come through, the changes to magic, in which case my whole magic setup's going to have to be rethought. But I'm fine if that does happen. I'm literally sat here waiting for it to happen, man. Ever since they announced the Dragon Warhammer was going from 1 in 5k to 1 in 3k, I've had like 6 lizard men tasks since then, and every time it feels so painful, I've literally been sat on a lizard man task for like 4 days. I have no points to cancel, I don't want to hit my streak because I'm on like 85 or something at the minute. I'm just sat here with a lizard man task on my main like, I don't want to do this when I know the rate's getting improved. Hurry up and give us, give us the improved Dragon Warhammer rate. I don't care about the rest of the project rebounds. I mean, I do, it looks cool. But just give us that Warhammer update. You can't say you're going to change the drop rate and then not change it for fucking weeks on end. <sighs> Run over. Jeez, I didn't realise that task was so bad. I thought it was like 20 lizards or something. I'm cancelling it anyway, but 146 is absolutely insane. I'm pretty sure we don't have like even two tasks in a streak though, so I'm just going to go reset it, uh, birth up and go from there. 146 lizards. Why is that on the task list? Lizards are a fucking hunter thing, not a slayer thing, come on. Next you'll be uh, giving me a fucking chin chomper task. Go kill 132,000 black chin chompers. I love how me saying I wasn't going to do the woodcutting has turned into me just doing the woodcutting because miscellaneous is so fucking slow. Am I just going to end up doing this now? Because I feel like 52 maples isn't that long. If you're on a forestry world with a plus 10 boost, and I can boost from 49 easily, this will get me some nice extra, it'll get me like 12k defense, it's not even a level is it, who gives a shit? But yeah, I'm not going to put any more cash in just at the minute, let's see what we got. Alright, some stuff, let's go, we don't have a wealth on us. Okay, I'm going to clean what I can, may as well get all this free XP we can, slightly increase our profits. Don't think there's any of the others we can clean though. Oh, you know what? I just remembered we have some clues. Shall I just go do some clues? That could be fun. It's a bit of a change of pace, isn't it? Just randomly remembered we had two clues. Can't remember what tiers they were, but we got medium. We got three, but we're not doing a beginner. We got a medium and an easy, so they're not going to take that long to do. I feel like that's worth just going to check them out while we're having a, a loosely planned day. It's that one killer chicken. Yeah, we got a decent bit of money there, actually. Let's make sure we've got our Renar seeds for tomorrow, because I don't want to run out of them at any point. I uh, don't like that that didn't buy straight away. I'm going to put the price up. Oh, wow, they're not even buying straight away. Okay, I will just have to leave that offer in, I guess. Uh, can we get a Fury? Maybe. Just going to lowball it slightly. Nice, we got ourselves an Amulet of Fury, all. Best in slot neck for the rest of time. Myth Pickaxe, Black Plate, and an Iron Kite Shield. Oh, we got our Renar Seeds. Right, and then we need something to kill a chicken with, I guess? A Rune Sim? Uh-oh. Seems to hit. <sighs> Let's get our best setup on without anything that'll weigh us down too badly. May as well wear this Black Plate, huh? Absolute machine we are. An absolute machine. I'm actually so proud of this account right now. I have no right to be, but I am. Okay, we'll get energy. We're gonna get all the teleports we could ever possibly want. And I think we're good. Let's start off at this Falador one. I think this is the easy one, but yeah, it is. Hello. Oh, 
Followed her again. Followed her again? Three step easy clue all in followed her? Wait, do we have the song? We do. And there's the casket. Alright, we need to kill a chicken. I was gonna go drain all, but we don't have our glory on us anymore because I bought a fury and didn't think I'd need the glory apparently. We're about to shank the fuck out of this chicken. My man's going down. Come on then. What the fuck? That's more like it. Bloody two! Give me a two! That's what I'm saying. Alright, Elemental Workshop. I'm so eager to crack this, but I'm gonna wait. It's the medium that has the real potential for juice inside it. Oh, that's an annoying one. I'm opening this. Oh, that was fuck all. Literal fuck all. Okay, key. Oh god, which one is it? Is it this one? I feel like it's this one. Why am I such a genius? Okay, I don't want weapons or armor, do I though, for this? Because they get angry at you, I think. So let's get rid of all that shit. Grab a water skin. Oh, let's get the glory and the jewel in that I didn't bring before. I knew there was some pretty sure we want to be going to BIQ. I think this is the quickest way to get that. Oh, shit. You nil with some garbage. We can't teleport you nil yet, can we? No. Hard. Where is this? Near the bank. This is step three. Did I just run over a farming patch? I swear I did. Alright, ALS, that's easy enough. Let's go! Ah, uh, I'll take it. I'll take it. Ten purple sweets is nothing to sniff at. Not one bit. You know, no range of boots, but if we're gonna get anything from a clue that's not something massive, let's make it as many purple sweets as fucking possible. Let's get rid of all this shit that we bought for clues. Do how are we doing for games necklaces? We've only got one. Let's grab 10. The minute I'm just wearing black tea hide everywhere because it's basically the same as rune, but it's lighter. Let's get a couple combat potions. We've got a bunch of teleports. Hopefully we've got all of them that we need. A bit more energy and some random food. All right, let's see what Terrell's got to offer us. Half an hour left on the clock. I think that medium clue was worth it because it did get us 120k back, which is nice because we just spent a lot on the Fury. So it gives us a little bit of a cushion again as we begin the farming rebuild. Oh, do I need to talk to him? I need another assignment. I thought he would give me a... <sighs> Fuck. Oh, I've got 30 points. I know that. How do I get him to cancel it? Okay, so he's just not letting me sur reset right now? Maybe it's because it's something he does offer? Lizards? I don't know. Cows. Whatever. Let's go kill some cows. I probably will do a different Slayer Master. I just... I was good planning to reset there, but... You wouldn't let me. Maybe you have to be past 5 streak to reset. Maybe it's because it's something he offers. I don't know. We do need to be on some better monsters though. 6 uh, Slayer XP a pop is not the one. Let's figure out just how much Slayer XP we need. To start off with, we need 32k. I have no idea what I just caught. The imp. Six compost. <laughs> yeah, we need about 32,000 experience. So, uh, six XP, eight XP. Not gonna cut it. We are dying very quick at least, so. It's pretty decent uh, attack XP, I guess. <laughs> 75k an hour, bro? Oh no, that's because the quest we did earlier. Never mind, never mind, never mind. <laughs> but yeah, that's just for the first goal. We actually have to get up to 48, which is like another 40k on top of that. But of course we are just starting out here. And I'm also trying to get myself an attack level so that I can get a better weapon. I do have one in mind. Should have brought my uh, Zami book as well. Didn't think about it. Well, it's an absolute massacre in the cow fields all this shit on the floor. Alright, I'm gonna go do a mask now for the next one, but I'm gonna reset Ferox first. Hopefully, uh, he gives us some tasks nearby him in the Slayer Tower. You know what would actually be sick? A rat task. We could go do Scurrious. Not that we have a burnt miss, but we could do Vanaka as well. I just, he does quite long tasks. I'd prefer some quick ones at the minute. Hobgoblins. Eh, it's not too bad. Let's go to Edgeville. And I'm gonna get some prayer potions as well, just in case we actually need them. And my book. Because we ain't got no defenders. Can't get in that guild yet. But we're not far off, to be fair. 
Well, this was a long run. I couldn't remember if I had a dusty key or not. I also didn't have a teleport on me at the time. Tavarok. No, I did. I've got a wealth on me. I could have wealthed and run from there. This is for someone on this world. Well, this will be a bit of a slower task, but it is better for Slayer XP. It's not too bad. I'm actually just going to hop though. I don't want to share a world. There was 23 Slayer though. Come to someone on this world too? Is this a popular spot? I didn't think people would be at Hobgoblins. What's going on? Now the question is, will we actually finish this task today? It's actually kind of mad, like, what we're wearing right now. The fact that we've got a fire cave, barrows, gloves, and a fury. And then a rune fucking scimitar. Just like, just chilling. Just this rune sim. Totally fits in with the rest of the outfit. I'm constantly repotting because these are cheap as shit. I think I'm actually going to start using super combats. I think it'll be worth the expenditure. It is going to cost money, but it'll speed up my training quite a bit, so... It just seems like the play. Not that this is bad, but if I can make it faster, then I should. It's worth the cost. It's always worth the cost. Time is always worth more to us than money on this account. So I'm using prayer potions just to have ultimate strength and incredible reflexes on while I'm here. Well, there's 24 Slayer. Looks like we will get to 25 on this task. We are roughly halfway through the task. One kill after this one. So it hasn't been taking us that long. I reckon we get this done, go do a birdhouse run, that'll probably be about time on the day. However, I think I am actually going to go to the GE as soon as I get 55. Because I want to upgrade my weapons, I'm super excited to try this, this new weapon out. I've literally never used it before. And we're almost there. I am going to get a brass key, make sure I have one before leaving so i can get back in easier and there's the attack level 55 grab that brass key gonna go straight to the ge and swap that as well for a fresh one we've got one dose of super combat potion uh, i'm gonna have to be stingy with them but i'll get a couple they are expensive very expensive right what is this thing called let's go quick little reset ferox Right, folks, we now have the Sulphur Blades. Never used this weapon before, it's brand new from Valamore, and it is what I am planning to use to train the majority of my melee. This weapon hits with two hit splats, but it is a single attack roll, I believe, and it's just, it basically just halves whatever you hit, and gives you both halves of it. Don't know why that's relevant, but against the... Sulfur Nagua in particular, an enemy within the Neoplotsley dungeon, you get a plus four minimum hit, I think, on each of the hits. So there is especially potent for training XP. In fact, I think we're going to have to swap onto defense now till we get up to 60 at least. Uh, no, I should do strength. Strength first, then defense. Definitely. But yeah, these things are about equivalent to a Dragon Sim. A Dragon Sim with a Dragon Defender is better, but until we have the levels to go and get ourselves a Defender, which for those who don't know is 130 combined strength and attack, this is our best option. And the fact that we can get some extra damage slash XP out of using them on the Sulphur Nagua is why I am working on my Slayer to unlock the Moons of Peril. I'm not particularly planning to do much of the Moons of Peril bosses itself, I just want to unlock the dungeons so that I can use these on the Sulphur Nagua. Yeah, these are pretty cool though. After five minutes using them, I'm a fan so far. Definitely feels better than the Rune Sim. I couldn't tell you how much it is, but I feel like our kill time is a lot quicker. We have got the Super Combats up as well though. I think I may get the next Slayer task from Vanaka, just because we're like right next to him. He might give us something like Fire Giants, which isn't too bad. Although probably not the best to melee, but hopefully he gives us something that we can melee. If it works out badly, I'll just not use him again after that. Pretty happy with this task though, we got two, three Slayer levels, can't remember, two or three. Got the attack level, we're closing in on a strength level as well. Might just get a hit points level. Oh no, a little bit off. Okay, we're gonna go see what vanaka has got for us, and then it'll be onto a birdhouse run, I think. This should be ready by now, yep. 
Looks like it. Lizards! Just what I was hoping for, bro. How about we go to Berthorp and immediately cancel that material? If he allows us to. We are on five on the streak now. But... <sighs> fuck knows if it's gonna work, because it didn't earlier. Ah, why is this guy so useless? <sighs> fuck, we're gonna have to do lizards. Okay, we don't have as many as the last task, though, at least. So that's something. We've got our Renar seeds for tomorrow and the day after. We're good there. We've got... Mahogany? Yep. I'll take some of that now. The fuck? Am I on a Castle Walls world? <gasps> I must be. Okay, you know what I want? Slayer. And then I want my actual good stuff. Alright, I think I'm just gonna go kill a couple lizards at the end of the day. Just gotta get a few in, we may as well. I didn't bring any energy. Opera. But we're not gonna be here for long, so it's okay. Oh shit, we need to use the... Oh my gosh. Fucking hate these types of enemies. Okay, at least the little ones are very quick. In fact, all of them are. There's 65 hit points. And there's 53 strength. Why do I always get the worst random events on this account, man? Oh my gosh. Nah, oh, that'll do. Alright, folks. Now, this may well be the most XP we've ever gained in a single day. Who knows? Let's have a look. 150k. Of course, a lot of that is down to Legends Quest. We did get 120k from that. From the defense and the attack together. 30 and 90, respectively. An extra 5k attack XP. 6k we got. And a little bit of strength there as well. 4k strength XP. Bit of hit points. Some other random bits. 2.5k Slayer is starting to make a bit of a dent in the grind that we have to do there. Hopefully we get some better tasks tomorrow to carry on with that mission. And maybe I'll recover some more plans to replace the, the quest that we had missing. But yeah, got our Souls of Fury today. That's absolutely huge. It's going to be our raid necklace. So... We've got it now, it's done, we would never have to worry about it again. Once we've got the brimstone too, we've got all of our jewellery fully sorted. And that'll be four slots out of five that are completely done. Very nice, but that is like four mil, so it's going to take us a while still. We've got a bunch more farm runs to do. She's going to give us time to work on the slayer and combat levels, of course. Still got plenty to go. I'm going to need this up to 65 at least, and 75, 75 on the other two. Same for D uh, magic. It needs to be 70, I think. So yeah, long way to go still, but we have made some solid progress today, and we look kind of nasty. Like, we are, we are mean looking right now. Look at us. Look at those knives. We're ready to, to shank anyone who looks at us the wrong way. Definitely uh, on the way to becoming a Tomb Raider. But yeah, that's going to be it on this one. Make sure you leave a comment down below. Let me know if you enjoyed this episode. How much you're looking forward to episode 7 as we close out our first week. I don't know how much I'm looking forward to it because I've got to start off by killing 49 lizards. Thanks, Jagex. Hit that like button as well and subscribe so you don't miss any of the future content on the account as we continue the rest of this Tomb Raider series. Other than that, look after yourselves. Be lovely to one another. See you on the next one.